so in this session we are going to be talking about while loops so loops in a programming language provides you an ability to perform the same operation again and again until certain condition is met so by certain condition what i mean is that there is exit condition defined so for example typically in a music player music will keep on playing until and unless you click on the close button and close the music player so closing is an exit condition so similarly let's say if you want to write a program which keeps on adding two numbers okay in that case you want user to keep on adding two numbers until and unless user quits or until and unless user says that he no longer wants to continue performing the operation so these kind of actions can be done using loops now there are two loops which are available in python those are called while loop and for loop so first we are going to discuss about while loop then in next session we are going to discuss about for loop so almost all the types of loops in any of the programming languages require two things one is entry criteria and the other is exit criteria so for any loop to function properly you will need an entry criteria and an exit criteria so while loop is also no different in this also we will need one entry criteria and one exit criteria now let's say you want to print number from 1 until 20 in that case how you can make use of while loop let's try to understand so let's say we have a variable which is called counter and this counter is starting with 1 and in this case i'm going to start a while loop and i'm going to say until and unless counter is less than equal to 20 and then notice uh, this is the syntax of while loop okay so you give while while is the keyword here and then you do some uh, condition checks so here what we are doing is we are telling this counter variable as long as this counter variable is less than equal to 20 keep on performing certain action so after while loop we need to perform uh, we need to give this colon and hit enter now you will notice again indentation has kicked in and whatever we are going to write that is going to be written inside this block and here i'm going to write print counter so now uh, what do you think is going to happen when this program runs now when we are running this program what is going to happen is that initially value of counter is equal to 1 and then when this line is going to get evaluated in that case processor is going to see basically that counter is less than equal to 20 so basically this is true because counter is equal to 1 which is less than equal to 20 and then it is going to print the value of counter which is going to be 1 now this action is going to keep on continuing until and unless there is one exit criteria is met so in this case as you can see if we just run the program here this is going to result into endless loop and the program is just going to keep on running and it is keep on printing numeric 1 rather than uh, printing anything else whereas what we are looking for is that after each iteration we want to increment the value of counter so what we need to do is we need to perform one increment operation so we are going to say counter is equal to counter plus 1 so after each line or after each execution value of counter is going to get incremented and eventually counter will be is equal to 20 and it will try to exceed more than 20 in that iteration and then it will come out of this while loop so now let's run this program and see what is the output which we get so i'm going to do control enter and now you can see once i did control enter we have value from 1 until 20 now again let's say if you want to print every second number in that case you could have incremented counter by 2 and if you do control enter this time you see you have got 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 okay which is you have printed all the odd numbers now let's say if you wanted to print all the even numbers in that case you could have initiated counter by 2 and if i run the same program again this time you see we c list of all the even numbers so basically this program has one entry criteria which is this and then it has one exit criteria which is uh, this one which is telling counter should be less than equal to 20 if it is not less than equal to 20 then 
this while loop is going to exit. So what happens after this uh, while loop is exited? In that case, whatever the next statement is, which is after this while block is going to get executed. So here, let's say we want to print program has finished. So after this while loop is completed, whatever the next line is that is going to keep on executing. So let's run this program again and see the output. So now you can see the output which we have got is list of all the even numbers and last statement is saying that program has finished. Now with the same concept, let's try to create a program which is going to ask user whether user wants to perform addition of two numbers and then user has to respond with yes or no and if user says yes then he is going to be asked to enter two numbers and then program is going to perform addition and going to reply the result back to the user. So for this what we need to do is we need to have one entry criteria. So in this case let's say our entry criteria is user response and that user response should be either yes or no. So yes means user wants to perform addition and no means user doesn't want to perform addition and wants to exit from the program. So initially I'm going to initialize user response with yes. And now notice I'm going to write while statement and here I'm going to say while user response is equal to. So now we are performing. Now here we are not using assignment operator. Here we are using logical operator and here that's why we need to give double equal to and we need to say yes. So what this is going to do is this is going to check that user response is equal to yes or not. If it is not equal to yes then it is going to quit this while loop. So here hit enter and let's say let's ask user to enter two numbers. So I'm going to write print statement and going to tell user to enter first number and then we are going to create a variable which is called first number and here we are going to keep user response and remember you need to cast it to integer and now we need to do the same for second number. And this variable I'm going to call second number and we are going to do casting as well. And now we have asked user to enter two numbers and here we are going to print the result. So we are going to say addition of two numbers r and then we are going to use this curly braces because we are going to use format function and inside the format function I'm going to provide first number plus second number. Now notice you could have done something like result equal to first number plus second number and here in the format you would have printed result. Okay so both are fine and I'm just going to comment this line and I'm going to now use result okay so both the statements are fine we, whatever method you want to choose you can choose that method so now uh, you see that user has entered two numbers and then we are returning the program or we are basically adding those two numbers and uh, whatever the result is we are showing it back to the user now again we want to ask user whether he wants to continue or not so here we need to write another statement which is going to ask user, do you want to continue performing addition operations? Reply with yes or no. Okay, so user should be responding with yes or no. And here we are going to capture user response again in user underscore response variable which we have created. So now what is going to happen is that user is going to reply with yes or no. So once user replies with either yes or no, that response is going to be assigned to user response and now since this is the last line after this again while loop is going to check the condition and then it is going to see that user response is equal to whatever the response which user has given and based on that it is going to take next action so let's run this program and see how it works
I'm just going to remove this line to avoid any confusion and let's do control enter and run this program. So here you see it is asking for first number I'm going to enter 20 and it is now asking for second number so let's enter 30 and now we see that it is saying addition of two numbers are 50 and it is now asking us do you want to continue performing addition operations reply with yes or no. So I'm going to reply with yes and now you see once we replied yes it is again asking to enter first number so this time I'm going to enter 10 and it is asking for second number let's enter 60 and you see it has uh, given us reply with the result and now it is again asking do we still want to continue or not so we can continue replying yes and it will continue performing addition operations okay so that is what typically happens in an application and again if we want to exit we can just say no and in this case it is just going to stop okay so after we say no we should have also print, printed some user friendly message which is going to say the program has finished or a program is going to exit something like that so let's print that statement here you have chosen to not continue program is exiting okay so now whenever you user says no in that case this message is going to be printed and program is going to be exiting so let's press control enter and run this program one more time and this time I'm going to say no and let's see what happens so once we said no we got the response you have chosen to not continue program is exiting so that's how you make use of while loop in order to continue repeating some operations again and again until the exit criteria is met and if you have any queries please ask me in Q&A section